Hi Taurus, this is going to be your April 2018 love reading and we are going to get started. So really, really can't believe that the year is flying past already. Um, I don't really know what to say to be honest. I mean, I'm filming this in February because I channel, I can channel I can actually channel a year to two to three to four years in advance so that's why my videos are going up early but it's actually February when I'm filming this so you guys might be watching this in the future you might be watching this when I've uploaded it but I feel like this year is flying by so so quickly already and I don't know how you guys feel about it but by the time a lot of you will watch this video we may be into March, April this video is specifically for April and um, what I'm already feeling is that things are going to bloom in April. Two cards came out as soon as I said bloom. Let's see what they are. You know, tarot doesn't lie. Two cards that really indicate a lot of growth, in my opinion. We have uh, two consecutive cards, which of course means growth. <laughs> you go from a 9 to a 10. So yeah, I see growth, I see um, a very blooming energy, you have uh, you know, a lot of greenery in both of the cards, you have abundance with the pentacles as well. Um, pentacles represent earth signs, again very, very similar to what we find in April, which of course is springtime, things are growing, things are blooming, things are happening. So here of course the nine of pentacles is kind of about this very single energy, but the kind of energy that is super magnetic and attractive to to lots of people because you're in your own power, there's a lot of self-love. You know, this woman is very, very happy with her bird, she's in her garden, she doesn't care that there isn't anyone else around her. She's just absolutely enjoying all of the abundance in her life. And uh, that is pretty much the focus of that. And Taurus, as an earth sign yourself, I do feel like a lot of you are very much focused on yourself right now, trying to focus on just being the best version of yourself, which is really the best thing to do. And if you're not in that point in your life, then I think this energy is just perfectly a great resemblance, um, a great sort of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a great way to be, to really be at one with yourself, embrace yourself, embrace, you know, you may not be in the exact place that you want to be, but there's nothing wrong with just embracing who you are, loving yourself, and just being at one, at being at peace with yourself. Because what happens is that when you're in a really magnetic sort of, when you're in this kind of an energy where you have so much self-love, you're satisfied with things that you have, you're grateful, you have gratitude, it's just a really good attitude and that really does bring up the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is an incredible card to have because it just it signifies abundance in all areas of your life, whether it's family, career, finance, stability, whether it's emotional, physical or mental stability. It just it is sort of a completion of all of those areas but in order to get there you kind of have to have this period of growth and so really tarot right now is really signifying along with the spirits they're saying this is a perfect opportunity to grow spring is the perfect opportunity for you you will see a lot of um, offers um, that could be coming to you but you will have to sort of put in that extra effort in order to you know take on new things and in terms of love you know you may have to go out and you know, do a little bit of the work. It may come to you, but you may have to, they're telling me that you may have to also go out as well. It's not always going to be handed to you, but what you can do is just be the best version of yourself and that will attract the right people to you. But you will still perhaps have to go out or, you know, send a message if you're interested in someone. But it's all about being confident within yourself, um, which will then attract this growth. Some of you may be in the stage of, you know, being the Nine of Pentacles energy. Some of you may already be in this kind of abundant stage. Let's see what other messages we have for Taurus. So essentially they're saying be in the best vibration you can for yourself. And if you're not there, don't worry. There's always room for improvement because that's the area of growth. Essentially they're pointing at, you know, growth is really better than nothing. 
yeah, you know, this will this will bring somebody into you and it will be quite quick. Um, very, very quick because the Knight of Wands is a very fast-paced energy, um, very loving, very sensual, fire energy, which is a com kind of complete opposite to Earth. I mean, obviously, you know, fire and Earth are <laughs> related, but um, this is very, very fast-paced, so... Something very, very quick will come in for you and almost sweep you off your feet so, so quickly you won't know what to do with it because you've been in this kind of sol solitude sort of phase. Let's see what else we have. The Five of Swords can indicate some kind of conflict and I mainly see it in regards to... Uh, this Knight of Wands, you may feel like they're so quick, you just don't understand why. Um, you may have been single for a while and someone just comes in really quickly, you might be thinking, why? Um, you know, you may have some sort of a, like, I don't know, a suspicion as to why this person came in so quickly, like, are they genuine? You know, things I feel are going to happen very, very quick because you have the Knight of Wands here, very fast paced, as I mentioned. Also have the Ace of Wands. Both are holding a wand out to you. This is an olive branch. This is this is essentially very, very quick. Remember that they're a fire sign, very passionate, and also just very, you know, they have this burning desire. They don't like to wait around too much. That's the kind of energy that I'm really feeling. Um, so if you are sort of with someone right now or someone came in really quickly for you, check their other signs as well. You may find some fire elements to their sign. So yeah, this is you sort of thinking and maybe being very conflicted. The Five of Wands is all about a change also. Um, so you go from this to essentially someone very quickly coming in like this. So five is all about change in tarot and um, you go from a five to a ten, it's a very quick change. You go from this to essentially having someone in the picture, it's a big change. So this brings in a lot of conflicting thoughts. So that's what the five of swords is there for. Do not be scared because I do think that this, oh my gosh, I was literally just about to say, I do think that this person is genuine and the lovers flipped out. So... <laughs> What else should I say, you know? Again, a time of blooming. If you look at the Ten of Pentacles and you look at the Lovers card, you'll see that the colour scheme is so, so similar. It's because those two cards just go together. As I mentioned, you will feel kind of conflicted about this particular person, but Five is all about changes and one of the reasons you feel so conflicted is that you just can't believe it would happen so quickly, but it does. And as I mentioned, I do think that this person is genuine. That's exactly when the lovers just flipped right over. Um, this is also the card of Gemini, which is those two sort of, the twins, you know, those two kind of personalities, again, one or the other. It's all about that change, you know, going from one thing to another. So this is really about that, but I do think that something very substantial will start to grow um, in the springtime, you know, again, growth, all of this beautiful sort of nature behind that. And I really just think that this is such a positive, positive read. So try not to be too worried, but of course, this reading is sort of aimed at, you know, if, if this resonates with you, it resonates with you. This is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but you will know in your heart if this resonates with you. And if it doesn't 100% resonate with you, I will tell you to be a little bit cautious because, of course, you know, if it doesn't 100% resonate with you, you're going to have to sort of see the signs um, in terms of, you know, this other person. So yeah, very, very positive with the lovers, very positive with the Ten of Pentacles, but remember this is all about growth. It doesn't mean that you're necessarily just going to get from one place to another. It really is about, you know, that, that mental, physical and emotional growth that has to happen before you become this magnetic energy where things just change really, really quickly. So that is your message, Taurus. I hope you liked this video. I hope it resonated with you. Let me know in the comment section if it did. Um, don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all very, very soon. Take care. Bye.